No doubt about the big event of the week in the blogosphere, the columnist Rod Liddell wrote a brief post on his Spectator blog on Saturday entitled Benefits of a Multicultural Britain. Referring to the case of two young black Londoners who tried to drown a pregnant teenager, Liddell commented, It could be an anomaly, of course, but it isn't. The overwhelming majority of street crime, knife crime, gun crime, robbery and crimes of sexual violence in London is carried out by young men from the African-Caribbean community. Well, we're the numbers people. Oliver Hawkins has been unpicking the tangled web, so, Ollie, has Rod Little got his numbers straight? Well, it depends on how you measure crime and it depends on what Rod Little means. Let's be generous to him and say that by young African-Caribbean men, he means all black people, and that by overwhelming majority, he means more than half of the criminals in each category. Even if we do that, he's wrong in every category of crime he mentions, except robbery. So, let's look at the numbers. The latest figures on race and crime have been published by the Ministry of Justice, and they cover the year 2007 to 2008. They break down all the arrests in London by ethnicity for nine different categories of crime, including violence against the person, sexual offences, robbery, burglary, theft, fraud, criminal damage, drugs and one other category for everything else. In all of those categories except robbery, black suspects were a minority of those arrested. In seven of the nine categories, black suspects weren't even the largest group. White people were. But 58% of people arrested for robbery were black. So those are the numbers on arrests, but just because you're arrested doesn't mean you've committed a crime? No. So we asked the Ministry of Justice for similar data on people who were actually convicted in Crown Courts in London in the same year, 2007 to 2008. They gave us figures for four categories of crime, violence against the person, sexual offences, robbery and gun possession. That last category uses data from all courts. And what do those numbers show? In none of those categories are black people a majority of those sentenced. They are the largest minority in the categories robbery and gun crime, 42% and 22% respectively, but for those convicted of violence against the person and sexual offences, the largest minority is white people, who represent 44 and 46% respectively. OK, so Rod Little was clearly exaggerating when he said the majority of the crimes he listed are committed by African-Caribbean men. Still, isn't it true that a higher proportion of black people commit crimes than people from other ethnic groups? Well, the same data shows that the arrest rate for black people was 3.8 times the arrest rate for white people. OK, so that sounds like a serious problem, even if Rod Little was exaggerating. It does. But it's worth bearing in mind that there are different ways of measuring crime. And if you survey the victims of crime or do anonymous surveys of criminal behaviour, you find a much weaker association between race and crime. Thanks, Oliver. A big subject, and perhaps we'll come back to it.